So there's been quite a bit of an uproar recently regarding the Naruto story and the theme of Naruto. A lot of people are feeling like the theme has been completely ruined of Naruto. And that's due to the events in Chapter 670 of Naruto where we find out, by the way, spoiler alert, if you don't want to know, then you might as well, you know, mute this bit, that Naruto is the reincarnation of not the Sage of Six Paps, but the Sage's son, Asura. He's basically like a reincarnation of some sort or rebirth of him. And pretty much he has those type of qualities of him so people are saying well so if this was predetermined destiny and he ultimately never had a choice then Neji was actually right destiny does control your outcome in life and it wasn't indeed that Naruto you know went and overcame everything it was that he was destined to just overcome everything because of his rebirth of him being Ashura now one of the big things that comes to my mind when I hear this is personally I think so let's just say I and my father's son. And my father is an amazing man. He's a strong man. He's legendary. He did so many incredible things. And he was just ultimately a great person. Does that necessarily mean that I am going to be as great as my father? Or even if my grandfather was that great man and I'm my grandfather's grandson. Does that mean that I'm going to be as great as him and be able to overcome everything because I am his grandson? That's really one of the things that comes immediately. Like Naruto, yes, okay. He is the rebirth or the reincarnation of this guy Ashura, which by the way, I like that it is Ashura over it being the sage himself. Because if it was the sage, then it's kind of like, so he's the rebirth or reincarnation of somebody that is just absolutely amazing. And we never heard any flaws of the sage. Him being the reincarnation of his son that was kind of like, you know, uh, no good. He had to work for everything. We find out that this Ashura character is, you know, just... Pretty much what Naruto ultimately was, that he had to work for everything. If Naruto didn't do everything he did, he would have never got to where he was going. If he would have sat in Konoha and cried under his pillow because the village stoned him and hated him, he would have never got to where he came from. So sure, he is the reincarnation of this guy, this Asura character, but that doesn't mean that that was predetermined destiny that he would get to where he ultimately is now. Everything was because of his hard work, him overcoming the obstacles. When people laughed at him and looked down on him for saying he wanted to be Hokage, he said, you know what? I'm going to prove you all wrong. And he did it by himself. It wasn't just miraculously Asura came out and controlled his body to do things because if that was the case, then yeah, you could say, okay, this thing came out constantly and pretty much controlled his body and controlled him. It was his own will and determination and hard work that got him over that gate. Like, just because somebody ultimately tells you, yo, you are the reincarnation. Like, somebody comes and says, you know what, sir? You are the reincarnation of this incredible deity, this god. You are the reincarnation of Zeus right now. If I right now, you know, take a gun and blow my brains out, then ta-da, you know, it doesn't fucking matter. So just because you're the reincarnation or you have genetics or anything connected to somebody, that doesn't mean that you will have the same destiny as them or you're just in the cycle that is ultimately going to lead somewhere. You have pretty much the tools, but it is what you do that controls where you're going to go. It is not predetermined. And I think that that's where people are kind of getting misconstrued along the way because they're looking at it like, okay, so Naruto is the reincarnation of him that means he was predestined to be greatness regardless it was never anything that he had to overcome because he was going to overcome it regardless no that is just that his hard work got him there sure he's a reincarnation but that doesn't have anything to do and that doesn't take away from anything that he's accomplished it wasn't like Ashura was helping him or that he was predetermined to do everything just because he's the reincarnation of this person I mean did Ashura bring peace to the shinobi world for all eternity no so he is the reincarnation of a fuck up that made something out of himself and ultimately worked hard to get there. And that's just overall what I look at it as. I don't see how him being a reincarnation of this, you know, guy, Ashura, means that everything was predetermined and the theme of it all is out the window. I mean, for the most part, we've already established that we thought he was a reincarnation of the sage. I think, if anything, it's a lot better that he is the reincarnation of the son that worked hard because I just showed he's a reincarnation of a hard worker. He's a reincarnation of somebody that had to overcome the odds. And similar to how I feel like Madara and Hashirama, whether they're reincarnations or not, they're along this cycle of hatred. It is just what you do that will ultimately end the cycle of hatred. So even if Naruto is the reincarnation of Asura and Sasuke is the reincarnation of Indra, it's what they do that will determine the outcome of how this cycle of hatred ends. It's not predetermined in any which way. It's not that the sage told them, yo, you are destined to, you know, stop all this. They said that he will do great things, whatever these great things may be. For all we know, Naruto may never put an end to the hatred in the Shinobi universe. There will always be something there, but he can try. 
And that's the whole thing about it. Like, he has this reincarnation to him, but that doesn't stop or, or doesn't predetermine everything out. It's not like there's a map out there that is telling him, yeah, this is where you're destined to be. If Naruto right now fails, if Naruto gives up and says, I fucking quit, that's the end of it. It's Naruto's hard work and determination that is what keeps him going and what has got him this far. So, as far as that whole thing goes where people are saying because he is the reincarnation of Ashura, which still technically it was a fuck-up that just kind of worked hard. So, I don't see how that necessarily, you know, fucks up the theme. Regardless, he did everything on his own merits, on his own accords. And it's never been stated that everything is predetermined. It's what he is going to do that matters would ruin the theme. I, I I just don't see it. I think that if anything, him being the reincarnation of somebody other than the sage, the son that was a hard worker, adds to the value of the character and shows that everyone tried. Hashirama tried to put an end to a hatred. Jiraiya tried to put an end to the hatred. Asura, he tried. They all tried, but they failed. But it's Naruto's hard work and determination that is what's going to overcome everything and it's what's going to finally, hopefully, put an end to a lot of these things. So I think the theme is still there, and if anything, it adds more value to it because it just shows that so many people tried, but they failed. But him, even though he's reincarnation, he's going to do what all his predecessors couldn't do, and that makes it a lot better for me personally. I think that just overall it adds to the value of everything. They might be reincarnations, but they're different in the sense that they're going to do things differently, and they're going to change the world. Let me know what you guys think about this. Do you feel as though this corrupted the theme of Naruto? Him being a reincarnation of Ashida ruins the character or ruins the theme of the story. I feel we already suspected for a long time that he was going to be the reincarnation of the sage six paths or, or somebody he was a reincarnation mostly of the sage we thought so i don't even see why it's coming as a shocker that he is a reincarnation but the fact of the matter is he's not even that he's a reincarnation of a scrub that became a hero and that's what he ultimately did on his own accord with his own powers and his own prowess and his own determination it wasn't destiny it was naruto but that's all happens this video thanks for watching hope you enjoyed thumbs up for hard work overcoming the genius because i've always appreciated that you might be gifted but if i work hard i can overcome you and i just love the theme in general and i think that it is still in place i think people are just misconstruing a little bit and probably a little bit confused about it so yeah just overall thoughts of this let me know what you think i'm for world and as always people have an awesome day